Hello, Scrabble here, coming at you with a video of Ashen. Ashen is a Souls-like game that uh, takes place kind of on this world of Ash. Now, what I'm going to show here is after the second boss, I've just defeated the second boss, I've unlocked the fast travel system, and we see some interesting things here in the new landscape. I mean, we can tell that there is a fire over there of some kind, which is a little weird. We've got this very large concrete tower or something that has fallen down here. I see no other reason for it to be so straight. This too looks like just the ruins of an area. As you can see, I hit the button and we can see what our side quests are and what we are currently side questing on. Side questing also increases character levels for characters that are back at your home base. Your home base is this uh, Vagrant's Rest up here, which continues to develop as the game goes, which is really very cool, right? As that's that's something about the game that I really do like. As the as the game goes on, the original place that you are part of just kind of improves and grows and turns into a real city. You can see I'm using a shovel. I've upgraded my shovel twice, and unlike Souls, there is no. Unlike Souls, there is no, uh... Hold on. This feels bad. This this feels like we are just slaughtering this village, which is a little strange. The rest of the uh, story has not felt like you're going around just slaughtering people. So, take that what you will. As I've gotten stronger, it has felt way more like we're just absolutely wrecking people. This guy, though, he's he's a little tougher. Not too tough, but he's a little tougher. The game, also, you'll see that I have an AI companion here. The game also seems to be based around multiplayer. In, in the lack of multiplayer, you have AI companions, uh, here. That felt pretty spot on. And back to the shovel. I'd rather fight this guy on my terms than his terms. Whoa! There's stamina. There we go. Gonna drink up. Now, over here is interesting. You see a couple of guys. You also see that thing on the floor there. That is somewhere that I died previously. As there's two guys here that are a little rougher, but that's fine. I just wasn't prepared for it. I do have a partner, so. The partners is not only because you get mobbed quite a bit, and you do, but. Mm, also for climbing, right? There's a lot of climbing in the game. There we go. And when you climb, you can climb higher if you have a partner. Otherwise, there is the option to turn a partner off. It's just something that I hadn't done. Whoa. Roll, please. There you go. And we have regained our Scoria, which is kind of like souls. You can see I've got uh, thousands of it. And we've just found another small stash. You can also kill animals. I, mean, I don't have a tremendous reason why at the moment. I, Apparently that one doesn't want to die, but I think they have potential to drop things that you're looking for, like health, health supplies and stuff. So I'm trying not to kill too many because it's not really my goal or requirement. There's no leveling up in this game. Right, like... 
Then you can also use a uh, two-handed weapon. You can equip. You have equipped with a two-handed weapon and a one-handed weapon. Looking around the corners, very important here. Healing item. And I just wanted to make sure that you know, I show this off. So this is the area that I'm going to here inside the ridge. We can see that it's lit up just a little bit away from me. And the quest is associated with a An Arden Reach. An Arden, an Arden is kind of like a dog. And we were, in fact, looking for a dog that glowed. Maybe there's a whole bunch of dogs that glow. We were looking for one that glows and is big. So I imagine we will be finding one of those. Yeah, see, so here I might use partner climbing. Nope, still not tall enough, even with my partner. But, what if I go over here? Yep, you can jump. You can assist climb. And the interesting thing is, like, maybe there's another way up there. I'm not 100% sure that there is. But a lot of these things are based on the fact that you have someone with you that can help you climb. So while I can turn off multiplayer, it feels like it's a severe disadvantage to do so. Here also, <laughs> while you don't have to use lock-on targeting, I've had a lot of times my lock-on, when I turn it off, doesn't actually seem to hit the enemies that I want it to. The shield of a huntress. Let's see if that's any better than the shield I'm using, which is this, uh... Uh, vagrant shield. It's worse. It says, uh... Hardened leather wrapped around a metal frame... Providing an extra layer of protection without adding much weight. I rarely use shields for hunting, but the leather on this one muffles the sound nicely. The... Uh, yeah, right down there is where I'm headed. The other thing to keep in mind... Is that while weapons can be upgraded... Armor can't. We saw him hiding in the bushes, just waiting to get us. Another speckled mushroom. Maybe I will equip those. Those give me like heals over time. And we can upgrade using Scoria our Estus flasks, otherwise known as the Vitnir. Come on, bud. Woo. This is the first time I've seen dogs that actually do that, which is unique all on its own. Oh, there he is. That one is a dark... A dark doggy. You can see there's a lot of, because of the climbing and stuff, there's a lot of, like, open world style things in here. And I know that we die in deep water, and I don't know if this is deep water. Whoa! Yep, you can see I'm drowning. Alright. So, either... Either I can get him from here, or I have to come down another way. I don't think I can get him from here. But is there another way? There is. Games, the, uh... Weapons in the game also seem balanced between clubs and club-style weapons, and axes, where clubs do stun and axes do crits. Stun seems to interrupt enemy attacks, which is super handy. The club that I'm using, or sorry, the shovel that I'm using is like a club. Clubs also seem to be a bit slower than axe weapons. 
but the shovel's pretty fast. Okay, let's head around here. Whoa! Whoa! This is the first time I've seen one of those. And look, all the animals are running away. And we see a source of fire over there. Ooh! Oh, it landed in that building. Kind of like a nest, I guess. Alright, so I guess we go down here. There's a bunch of dogs and animals. That was cool. I'm gonna head this way first because I see an item to pick up. See, because there's no leveling up, you might be like, how do we increase stamina and health? But stamina and health get increased by finding feathers in the world. Find white feathers for stamina and black feathers for health. I don't see anything there. The music's nice. There seems to be this path that winds its way through the world. And like, oh look, the path goes from area to area. Hmm, so basically straight ahead from where I'm looking, right where those dogs were. The place for me. Yeah, the music is super nice. Let me see, I'm pretty strong. I guess my weapon is strong, because the enemies do not seem too tough. It's okay, I'm not hurting you, it's fine. I just wanted to see what's up here. There we go. I am not sure how to get up there. Hmm. I know that I would be able to grab that. Oh, come on. That was totally, totally good. Mm, ow! I don't even know if that'll actually help me. Like, I'm trying to get up there, but I just don't see a way to do it. Unless it's here. And I still don't actually see a way up. You know, there must be a way up, because there's an item on it, but whatever. Fine. Oh! Now we see, like, three dogs. Five dogs. Whoa, Ella. Whoa! Watch out! Okay, one dog down. Uh oh, uh oh, nope, back off. Yeah, we're gonna let her tank. Nope, 
run. Can I take a mushroom here? Woo! All right, we got him. Ah. Okay, and Isla is down. We're gonna help her back up. And your partner can help you as well. But again, they don't really help you if they're getting just totally wrecked by something. But otherwise, they'll help you out. There's there's times, usually when I fall, I'll look around at the enemies and I'll be like, okay, I can see the scenario under which I can survive this. And I see the scenarios under which I'm dead. They're pretty obvious. All right, I just want to check up here, make sure that I don't miss anything good. This is where our friend was. Watching us. I also saw a friend up there. Yeah, you can see a friend up there. There we go. Yeah, the climbing is a bit weird. Oh, hey, check that out. So here's a feather that I was talking about. Plus two max health. That's nice. Ashen feather acquired. And Isla has a quest for me over here as well. So, since she came out here with us, I think it'd be nice for us to check and see if we can accomplish the quest for her. Yeah, there might be something up here as well. Oh! Yeah, I definitely think there's something up there. Oh. Not gonna want me to hop up that way, though. But we could slide down the other side. Hey, there we go. That's okay, it looks like there's nothing over here. That I wasn't supposed to come this way to begin with. As you can see, I'm standing on the ridge. Because you can do that. But Ella did- Ella did not come with me. I keep calling her Ella. Woo! Alright, so we're gonna run around. That was useless. Oh, that's right. And I know I saw at least one dog. I think two dogs. Ooh. Collision detection feels a little shakier to me than it does in Souls. And that could just be me complaining. Oh, we see a couple guys over there. Broken ironwork hatchet. That's something we can repair. I don't know if this thing is sleeping. Or if it's something that can totally wreck me. Like, I've never seen something like this before. Also, it looks like there's climbing available because I see a ladder. Looks like we'll climb this broken city. Oh, that smoke is a ritual stone. Which is a place that I can, like, respawn and fast travel. And there's another one. For more fast travel and respawning. And there's one up here. Seems like they're fairly common in this area. Oh, I see... One, two, three, four, five... Six dudes. 
that I do not want to get wrecked by. Heh. I can forge more spears. Like, that's the thing. There's also a piece of equipment I can get that allows me to recover spears, or potentially recover spears. Alright, so I have 7,000 scoria. It's not much of a risk for me to lose, because I think I can get back here easily enough. The risk for me is that I want to reach that place up there before I travel. Nice. She's pretty helpful when she wants to be. I'd rather not fight you, I'd rather be friends. Whoa! You know, we're just gonna slobber you, okay? You were more deadly to me than I anticipated. It's See, you know I'm dumb because I kind of crane my head in real life to look around the corners. If I was here, if you were here, that's what you'd see me do and you'd be like, why is he moving his head? Yeah, there's a ritual stone down there that we saw. But it's that one I want up there. Mainly for the fast travel, if it's possible. And we're gonna switch. There we go. Game doesn't look perfect on Switch, but, uh, looks pretty good. It's so weird to me that these guys, like, they see this happening. They just stand there. They're like, oh, when he gets closer. That's... Oh! Roll? That's when we'll do something, when he gets closer. Woo! Was she turned into stone? We're gonna just take one of these, thanks. Woof! What happened to her? Maybe she turned to ash and she's just dead. I no longer think I can make it. Before I thought I could make it. I'm not too far from my quest. Uh, interestingly. That's one quest. That's Ella. The Turin also wants me to go there. Maybe. I don't know, it's weird that they both kind of... Oh, that's where he wants me to go. He wants me to go down to my left. He wants me to go that way. Also seems dangerous. I mean, see, all these things look dangerous. There's no clear way forward for me. Like, to just kind of jump up that stuff. So I can run up that ridge and then slide down the other side.
Oh, hey, she's back. Maybe I can make it. Oh, and they're not attacking me, which is also great. That means they trade with me. And different things to trade are unlocked in different areas. that. Yeah, those guys are dumb for attacking me. You should have stuck with the folks who weren't attacking me, buddies. Uh-oh. Lots of dogs. Alright, that dog's dead. In my quest to, like, hunt the dogs... I don't know why I saw something over here. The quest I have to hunt the dogs is because the dogs are glowing, because the dogs are successful. Someone wants to study them. What was that? Lots of dust around here. Very strange, but... My fast travel buddy is here. My health is restored. I am close to where I wanted to be. Which is just down here. One of Isla's new fancy friends, eh? Well, here's a sorry fishing tale for you. Me tribe's been hooked and landed by three of its own. Ake, Fiske, and Kori. Ake led the listeners past our defenses while we was watching the blooming light. Listeners made him chief, and no one's strong enough to say otherwise. Except you, maybe. Ake is the bully boy, and Fiske keeps his axe nice and sharp. Cory hatched the whole nasty business. He's run off with a bad case of the guilts now. The boys might have figured they was in charge, but it was them listeners casting the lines. Probably why Cory went and run off, found out he wasn't as smart as he thought. Ake is the bully boy. Hey, we found her and she was alive, which is tremendously surprising to me. Also, there's a hole in this building over here. I should probably return, but I really want to check this out. <gasps> I see a giant crab thing. Most of the enemies are humanoid, but there are some. Watch out, Isla. Got him. That one was uh, different than the last crab I fought, which seemed like it was almost like a stone crab. And I thought I saw another one, no? Oh, I do see another one in there. Have a lantern. Sapient moss, which I believe is upgrade material that I needed. So, now, 
It's a fantastic time for me to return. Oh, there's also something up there that I should maybe check out. But again, it's like... See that guy listening to them it means there's inherent danger in this. A broken guardian bludgeon. Interesting. Got dogs and stuff. This area seems a lot more alive than other areas have in the past, which is cool. Like, I can handle that, but... We're gonna use our little guy here. A much smaller version of the other one. And we're gonna head back to our city. Which has probably grown since I was here last, because it grows as you complete quests and level up the people. So I'm gonna show you what happens as you level up people. I'm also, uh, my plan is to level up my shovel. So you can see that too. I like the shovel. There's also a spiked glove that I could use that's pretty good, but uh, I do like my shovel. Alright, so this is the person that I hunted the dog for. As far as I could tell from, that hound had no obvious signs of illness. Please. Give me the tail so I can sample its fluids. See what's going on there. The tail's sinews are strong. Its blood is vital. And its secretions are... pungent. Time to sharpen the boning knife and stoke the fire. This should be interesting. Plus 15 health, uh, respite crafting, and a new spear. She is our Don't spear ever person. Don't forget what you learned in the darkness. Your ears can tell you as much as your eyes. Maybe she does not have a quest the available. Hunter. So when I go here, you can see that now she will allow me to make this time worn spear, which is uh, looks like three times as strong as the last one. One of these is for attacking, and one of these is for throwing. You can see it also costs a lot more scoria, it costs seventeen fifty. And it costs me three spearheads, of which I have 20, whereas this one just costs one. But in terms of throw damage, I think throw damage is 149 versus 180, so it's not too much different. Oh, I also forgot the other... Oh no, I guess I can only do that type of crafting there. This house wasn't here before. It looks like the house uh, just got made. All this light, it's making the ice water. Or it could be that I'm just weeping for joy. These are people that I believe were originally enemies. Now we have a, like a full-fledged house here. There's a storage box. And inside the storage box, I'm just going to transfer stuff that I have no intention of using at the moment. Uh, sapient moss, I do want that. This I don't need. And I'm going to stick with my shovel for now so I can put that in there. You can see there's a whole lot of stuff that I had. This is another crafting table that allows me to craft talismans. So you can see I have kind of a loadout of four talismans. The one that I just got was Ray Cool was Respite. Your stamina regeneration increases, which is plus 10%. Nothing to shake a stick at. You can see here that I also have uh, for the center, this one's Hearth, which is just nothing, I guess. And then we also have Kudo's Guile. Kudo was a boss that I killed. And we can craft this thing. Darkness envelops the bearer's form, growing stronger with every strike they elude. Where I have an orb limit of five, and orbs will appear when I strike enemies dealing bonus damage. But not what I want to do. I want to head over this way where the anvil is. And there's the guy who makes the place. Amirin was. Uh, doesn't tell me anything I haven't heard before. So now that I have a sapient moss. You can see I can also increase my Runic's Axe, which is my two-handed weapon. That cost me 500 to increase. But the Sapient Axe, or sorry, the Shovel to go to Ash and Fuse will take my Sapient Moss. And then increase from a R1 of 92 and R1 of 101, and from 103 to 116. We'll do it. Now it makes two 
mosses, and it looks like not super, like, super great on where it's going. Whereas this one, from broken to repaired, is 61 to 110. Right? And then the next one is normal to forge, which is a 110 to a 157. The bonuses here on the shovel look rather small, and I wonder if that is shovel-related or if it's just how this stuff works over time. And this thing, which uh, was previously just like a small house, has now turned into a larger, like, actual structure. This was the first area that you fought in. And it was a nice area, but like, this stuff wasn't here. Over time, all of this stuff has been growing, and it's been really neat to see. So here, what looks to be like a dock, which was not here before. This is all brand new. This bridge is brand new. Pretty complete. More health and swift crafting. Big hole in that there bloated puffer fish. Got a new, new quest. That Ake is swinging about these days. Says it picks a fair and dark wallop. This has been learning from the darklings, I reckon. <sighs> Vagrant's rest delivers what it promises. This is a crafting table? Oh, this this increases the effectiveness, the potency of my Essis. There's another crafting table. What's this one? I don't understand what this is. This is new. I have no idea what we just did. Literally no idea. But loading screens. Wait, did I go in the barrel? I did, they put me in the barrel. Isn't that interesting? They put me in the barrel. Stuck me in an enemy. They're like, yo, go down the river. Oh, and she's good. She's like, she's totally redressed. Which I think happens after you level up her character, and you level up her character by completing her quests. As you can see, the one thing about the cure is, like, the world's kind of covered in ash, and people are getting sick. The one guy in our town has lost his arm, for example. The dog does not seem interested in us at the moment. He's got his own prey. Oh, and... I'm going to use one of these again. Because, again, I did not know what I was doing. That barrel was a brand new thing, so... We're going to head back, because I think there was one... No, I guess I did all the quests. Let me just check my check my thing, though, and then we'll end the video. As a quick look at Ashen. I thought it would be more interesting to do the quick look um, somewhere cl like close to the beginning of the game, but not at the beginning of the game. Oh, wow. Uh, that building wasn't here before. This town's becoming super cool. I wish you could have seen the palace gardens in the light. They were so beautiful. Perhaps we could salvage something of the old beauty in this new age. Yeah, all this stuff is new. This is another guy who likes to come with me on adventures. Uh, 
but he has built this place while I go off and fight. And he allows me to increase how many swigs my SS has for a cost. You also find as you go that not only does the land change, like this has changed a lot over time, but you'll find new things that weren't weren't here before. I mean, those were there before in terms of I see two treasures over there, but I was never able to get them. And I'd be willing to bet that maybe I could get them now. I also wouldn't be surprised if our village, uh, like, I see two bad guys there, but I wouldn't be surprised if our village came to encapsulate that side of the river, too. The whole thing's really neat. Uh, this is by far the coolest... The coolest aspect of the game is just this evolving village. Right? They even built, like, this gate in this wall to indicate the start of the village. Uh, let's kill this guy real quick. It should be easy for me. Because I've gotten stronger. And I feel mean. Like, the game makes me feel mean when I actually, like, take these people out who are attacking me. It doesn't even make sense that they're attacking me. Like, they must look at the other side of the river. And realize what's going on. Say, hey, I want to be a part of that. Uh oh. Like, Ella, could you give me a hand here? Huh? Isla? Uh oh. And I have died. And that is Ash. Alright, we're going to stop there. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more stuff from me, feel free to subscribe. Plus, helps the channel quite a bit. You can share the video. You can comment on the video. I do love talking to people in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time.